North Carolina and South Carolina are located on the east coast of the United States and are considered to be in the South. But if you have a choice of where you're picking, which state you want to choose to move to, you want to know the difference between living in South Carolina versus living in North Carolina, right? So if you watch this video through to the end, you're going to know which one is for you. So give me a thumbs up if you're ready to dive right in. If this is your first time here on this channel, I'd like to say welcome aboard. Our video channel here on YouTube is packed with super helpful information, helping you avoid the pitfalls that are costly. So if you're ready, tap that subscribe button, make it turn from red to white. It's a common misconception that the Carolinas are the same since they are both North and South, right? But while that is true, moving to the Carolinas offers a more relaxed way of life. These two states com are completely different ways of life. Sometimes when people think about moving South, they automatically think of Florida, but many times end up second guessing that idea when they actually investigate the true cost of Florida's property taxes and insurance premiums. The, the Carolinas can offer a refreshing alternative to Florida's too hot weather or too congested traffic. So today we're going to go talk about the pros and the cons of North Carolina and South Carolina living. From the mountains to the sea, it's the place to be. So if you live in the Carolinas, you're never more than a few hours drive to the mountains or to the beach. And both states here are two of the fastest growing states in the nation. But that's pretty much where the similarities really end because North Carolina is a little bit more congested since it has more population. It's twice the population of South Carolina at 10.5 million versus 5.2 million population in South Carolina. Now, North Carolina has large cities. Charlotte, North Carolina is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. You have many large banks with headquarters there, technology centers, and they're all located in Charlotte, North Carolina. South Carolina's largest city is Charleston, and it's best known for food, history, and architectural beauty. Charleston's cuisine is defined by the coastal location and soul food influence with foods as rich as the history and the flavor. Now, the largest industries in both North Carolina and South Carolina include restaurants, food service, and construction because both states are growing. And both states really know how to deliver on the Southern hospitality. South Carolina's motto is smiling faces, beautiful places. North Carolina versus South Carolina. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Now, side-by-side -side comparison of the two can quickly show which one is better for you when it comes to your interests and your needs. Which one has the best parks or the best beaches? Which one has the best sports scene? Which one has the lowest cost of living? Now, both have their fair merits, but one definitely outshines the other in certain categories. So, if you like the beach, you're really going to love both the Carolinas. North Carolina is known for its picturesque lighthouses on the shore. And North Carolina also is a larger coastline geographically, which also makes it stick out a little further in the Atlantic Ocean. This allows it to rank as the top three states where hurricanes are most common. Now, Florida is number one, Texas is number two, and North Carolina is number three. On the other hand, South Carolina, with its warmer weather, has a better year-round beach scene. White sand beaches are plentiful in both states, but South Carolina has more communities near the coast. Now, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is especially popular location for the beach lover or sports enthusiast or relaxing beach life. And how about the cost of living? When you consider the cost of living data shows South Carolina has an advantage. Lower than the national average, South Carolina expenses like groceries, transportation, and housing are more affordable. Now, North Carolina's overall cost of living is listed below the national average, but slightly above South Carolina's cost of living. The cost of living index in North Carolina is 90.6. South Carolina's cost of living index is 88.5. The national average is 100. So you can see both states are very affordable to live compared to the rest of the nation. 
But North Carolina versus South Carolina taxes, baby boomers will continue retiring and moving south. Now, according to the tax information provided by the state of North Carolina, the state is moderately tax friendly towards retirees. While Social Security is not taxed, they do fully tax withdrawals from retirement accounts as well as public and private pension funds. Now, South Carolina, on the other hand, is tax friendly towards retirees. In the state of South Carolina, Social Security tax is not taxed and retirement accounts and pension funds are only partially taxed in the state of South Carolina. Gas is also cheaper in South Carolina because the taxes are lower on fuel. But both states are well below the national average index of 1.7% from medium property tax. The tax index in North Carolina is 0.77%. The tax index in South Carolina is even lower at 0.55%. Okay, I want you to think about your lifestyle and what you like to do. Do you enjoy nature? South Carolina's climate may be best for beach life, but North Carolina has South Carolina beat when it comes to green spaces and parks. Near Asheville, there's a Mount Mitchell and Cherokee National Forest, and there's also the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And there's numerous small state parks in both states. Now, majestic pines, wildlife, mountains and streams, from rugged paths to woodland trails, North Carolina offers plenty of opportunities to enjoy nature. Are you into sports? While the two states are mostly equal in respect to stock car racing, South Carolina has Darlington Racetrack and North Carolina has Charlotte Motor Speedway. North Carolina once again pulls ahead though with the sports because it's home to Carolina Panthers NFL team, Charlotte Hornets in NBA, and the Carolina Hurricanes NHL. Plus, there's top college sports. For example, UNC, Duke, NC State, and Shaw in North Carolina. And in South Carolina, two top college football and basketball teams. Clemson in Clemson, South Carolina, and the University of South Carolina in Columbia, South Carolina. Okay, so now you're looking for community recommendations, right? Where to live. Just compare and contrast North Carolina and South Carolina. Sports fans who like all the action will find themselves near Charlotte, North Carolina. Intellectuals will enjoy Raleigh, Durham, or Columbia, South Carolina areas with many museums and arts. Nature lovers enjoy Asheville, North Carolina, and the South Carolina mountains for hiking, the scenic waterfalls, or the Blue Ridge Mountains. Beach lovers really enjoy the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area with over 1,700 restaurants and lots of fun things to do. Now, I live in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and this area has seen some major growth. My real estate team gets many phone calls and emails and texts, and we absolutely love it. But you've got questions, we've got answers. So we've got your back when you're moving here to South Carolina. One question that we get asked all the time is, where's the best place to move? And some people move for a job relocation, and some people are looking for a place to retire, and others are really looking for a change of life. No matter what brings you to the Carolinas, you're going to enjoy a simpler way of life for sure. You're never far from relaxation or adventure. Okay, so was it better to live in South Carolina or North Carolina? Should you move to North Carolina or South Carolina? What are your plans? Are you looking for a primary house or are you looking for a vacation home or an income producing property? Are you a first time home buyer or are you looking to sell? Comment below because I really wanna know what's going on. I'm curious about what's happening with you. As I said before, I truly appreciate you watching and commenting. And if you found any of this of value, any of this information helpful, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and the subscribe bell to get alerted whenever a new video like this comes out. So wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're subscribed already, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.